welcome to my channel and for today's video we are going to paint some Christmas balls and um, to start I have my um, caddy paper this, this is my caddy journal I'm gonna be using some watercolor confections um, I guess I'm gonna use a uh, current set for some of the Christmas balls and then we'll do um, a floral painting here using Odyssey and then for the brush, I'm going to use Silver Brush Black Velvet. Um, I'm thinking of experimenting with salt. So this is the salt that I'm going to use. I'm going to explain more later. But okay, so I think I want to use my size 8 round brush. I'm going to keep this size 6 for now. Um, let's grab water. And I'm going to wet these two areas. So... I already drew a circle, so just use any round shape object. So I'm just gonna fill this in with water. So for this one, I wanted like a turquoise ish color, and then we ju are just going to add some details using a white gel pen. Okay, so let's try to choose among these colors. This is from the current set, which is um, on sale. I'm not sure if I can upload this uh, within the Black Friday sale, but if, if I can upload this right away, just check out the info box below. So I think I'd like to use um, Seaside. Let's just drop in some color. Well, this is like the wet on wet technique. And then let's add, um, I think I'd like to add jellyfish. We might need to use a darker blue. Or something more pigmented because we're going to paint the details with a white pen so if the background is light we won't be able to uh, see the details using the white pen so it the, the background has to be quite dark um, so I'm gonna use ocean okay that's a beautiful color I'm gonna drop in some seaside color again and then this jellyfish color and then you can just leave this but I think I like a little bit more of the blue green color. Let's just add some more. And then I think we can add more shadow right here. Uh, let's use the color deep sea. Okay, so let's just leave it as is. I just made a little bit of smudge over there. That's okay. And then I'm gonna make another one over here. Let's paint this with just water. Okay. So I'm finished with painting this part with water. Uh, I'm gonna add some of this color called Seaside. I'm gonna put this here so you can see it. So it's this color. And I think I'm going to add a little bit of purple from the Odyssey set. Okay. 
then some of this color called ocean with a little bit of jellyfish okay so i plan to put salt on this and let's just see the effect i'm not sure if it will look good so we're just trying it out okay so i just added a little bit of color just add some violet over here so this is not really super wet anymore but i still see a little bit of sheen and i think we can now add some salt this is just sea salt um i think the bigger the granules the better so that you'll get a more um kind of a more aggressive effect but i'm not really sure so let's try not sure if this is already too dry though but let's just experiment on this and you'll just wait for this one to dry then we'll just rub it off okay i think i'm fine with that i hope that it will look good so now let's move on to this christmas ball okay so i have here my odyssey and let's try to paint um, inside this christmas ball okay so i think we can start with um, a rose Okay, so this is too light. I'm gonna add a more pigmented part in the center. Just let it bleed. Then let's add some leaves. I'm gonna, oh, sorry. I'm gonna add some greens from the current set. This color is called sea green. Oh, I love this effect. So nice. So let's just paint some leaves. And let's add some kind of some berries over here just let it bleed into each other okay and then you can add some more leaves I'm just gonna clean this up so let's add some more leaves Then you can add some purple flowers, I think. So, maybe a five petal flower. And let's add a more pigmented center. Then let's add some more greens. This is, this is seagrass. Well, I think we can add a bit of blue. I'm gonna add the color called jellyfish. So it's quite difficult to paint inside the circle. 
so now I have crossed some of the lines here okay let's add some berries over here Just clean this one up. Okay. And then let's put some color on here. Okay, so I think we can add some green over here. Right here, just to fill in this gap. Just add a bit of blue. Okay, I think we're almost done. Then I'm gonna put a gold detail over here. Okay, so now I'm just gonna grab my Art Philosophy Metallic Accents. And we are just going to paint some gold details. I'm using my size 6 round brush. So I'm just going to put the string over here. Alright. And also on all the other Christmas balls. Okay, so I'm not really sure if this is working out, <laughs> but uh, my guess is that if you use um, a different paper like uh, the Arches, Fabriano, or Saunders Motherford, it will work well. Maybe the salt effect is not working on Caddy, or maybe I did something wrong, but um, if ever this is not going to work out, um, we'll just paint something else on top of this Christmas ball. So we'll just try to improvise. Alright, so I have my pen here. This is uh, the Uniball Signo Broad. So you can use any gel pen. Uh, this is a white gel pen. And you can use gouache as well for the details. So just wait for this layer to dry. I think it's okay then we'll paint some details paint any pattern that you want so i'm gonna start now all right so i'm just gonna paint some swirly things here um okay okay so i'm not sure about the style that I'm gonna do but I guess I'm just going to draw all this all of these um, swirls so I'm so sorry if you can hear some noise in the background so this one works better if your your pen is like upright but then you won't see what I'm doing so I'm trying to tilt the pen a little bit. So we'll just make some random um, swirls. And you can fill in the entire um, Christmas ball. Or you can also just fill in half. And don't worry about the pattern. I think that if you do the same um, swirls, it will look good together. Okay. So with a very dark background, this will definitely look a lot better. 
so as you can see it looks clearer on this part because it's darker here okay so let's just fill it in and you can also go back to make some of the lines um, just more opaque and so let me just finish this it's just the same pattern Alright, so I'm done with this one and I've also rubbed off the salt so um, it did not really create that much of an effect on this Christmas ball. Maybe I'm going to do a different video um, just in case this also happens to you. Um, let's try to improvise. I'm going to be using my um, metallic accents and I guess we'll just try to paint some... Um, lines to create like a pattern I'm thinking of using this blue color I'm just not sure if it will show up if it doesn't then we'll just probably use um, gold okay so let's try it here Okay, so it looks like it's doing well. Just painting some curved lines. And I think I'm going to add some gold later. here like an outline if you don't have blue metallic paint just use gold it will still look great um, I think I'd like to add some gold details because it looks a little flat I'd like to add some dots since dots are super easy to paint um, let's just paint some dots I think it looks more festive now. Let's just add a bit more water. You can also use fine tech if you have the fine tech um, metallic paint. That will also work. Or use um, gouache. You can also paint some white details. Okay, I think it looks good so I guess we are done so these are just three ideas for you guys you can also paint a gold detail so I'm gonna add a bit more gold here so I just had an idea right now I think we can add like a gold border Okay, so it depends on you if you want to add the border or not. But either way, I think it's it still looks pretty. That's it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video and also comment down below if you have any questions. So see you in my next video. Bye!